So let me actually show you some of these features that we will have in Flash Professional CS5. Uh, I'm going to start off with one of the, uh, the biggest features we will have in this release, and it's text. We have a new text engine, a new version of Flash, um, that adds a whole bunch of new capabilities that we didn't have before. Uh, let, me st let me show you a couple of things. Um, in this example here, I've got a, a layout that was brought in from InDesign. So this document was, was actually created in InDesign. Uh, saved as a flaw file. This is a feature that InDesign has. Um, and as you can see, we keep a lot of the formatting now that was lost previously. Other new features that we have uh, with this new text engine, as you can see when I um, click into these text blocks, is you can see that these text blocks are linked together uh, with these blue lines. This is showing that these, these are a threaded text container, and that means the text is going to flow from text container to text container. And as you can see, I'll show you that by typing in a couple letters here, and you can see that the text keeps flowing in and out. So this is one of the new features we have um, in this release. Another feature we've added is not only we have support for threaded text container, but we also have support for multiple columns in one text block. So I'm going to go to this one layout, and as you can see right here, I've got a text block, has multiple columns. Let me just select this very quickly, and I can select all this text, um, and also go into my uh, property inspector, and go in there and select whether I want two columns, one column, um, or even, for example, three columns. Uh, and in this case, I don't want three columns, so let's undo that. And now let's go back in here and put in two columns in here. So you can see, uh, very simple to do, but a capability that we didn't have before. Also notice the property inspector for our text blocks contains a lot more properties than we've ever had before. Um, so there's a lot of new uh, capabilities in, the new, in this new text engine. Uh, moving on to another feature we have um, in this release is we have support for a new file format, and this is really for our project. The FLAW file that we have in this release of Flash is a whole new uh, version, um, and it's XML-based. And so what we've done here is taken our, our previous FLAW file, which was binary, and now modernized it and made it XML-based. And let me show you sort of what that means. I can take this project that I have here on my stage, and if I go to File and do a Save As, you can see that I have a couple of different versions for saving this document. One as a Flash CS5 document, FLA, or one as a Flash CS5 uncompressed document. Um, and this means is that I can now save my project not as this uh, one file that's holistic and that you don't get to see anything that's inside, but I can save it as a folder, and you can actually see all the assets that are inside of it. So let's go ahead and do that, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Replace what's already there saving it. Um, and what this means is that you can now take this folder and put this folder into a version control system and actually have it work within the version control system. It also means that I can go in here and look at not only the actual code that's making up this file file, but I have access to the assets in my library. So things like JPEGs, PNGs, um, PSD files, I now have access to them inside a folder instead of having to always open a file file inside of Flash. So that's a, a whole new architecture uh, that we've included now in this new version of Flash. The last feature I really want to uh, show you is support for um, uh, iPhone development. So this has really been a talked about feature, and let me show you what this means. So I can go into my mobile uh, guide. This is a Flash application that I'm building. Um, as you can see, it's, it's, I'm just starting it right here, but you can see that this is beginning to look like a local PIX uh, guide that I want to be able to make available on my iPhone. And this is a Flash application that I'm going to be writing with ActionScript and using our tool. I want this application to run on my iPhone. In order to do that, it's very simple. All I have to do is go to the publishing settings of Flash and set that to iPhone. Once you do that, you can go into the settings, and we will ask you um, a little bit more information about that application. And what's important is for you to be able to... Um, Give us information about like the certificates that you get access to from the Apple website. Once you've done that, it's just a matter of hitting publish, and then we do the rest, and we actually create a proper native iPhone application that you can then upload to the Apple Store and into your iPhone. So this is a small taste of some of the new capabilities we have in uh, Flash Professional CS5. I really hope you enjoy them.